threat match for underground champion or the most competitive for underground championship for the win here. This is Planet X for the very title. And that's episode of Assault and Sombrero going for a pin attempt there on the Mitch. Only going to two count though. These two great underground team battles going at it once again. Sombrero going at a Houston hangover type maneuver. And instead it does a pin spike. I don't know the reason behind that. Barely managing to get his shoulder up there. Spike was keeping the pass hit for a while now. I guess he just decided to try to end it, test his luck, but didn't pay off it. Oh my god, Spike! Spike is going to start to see that power bomb. Oh, look at this. You know what this is, folks? It's like the title of his theme music. Gonna spike up. Get some down and go to sleep, bitch. Spike. This insulting maneuver, the most insulting finish in the entire UWA. It's the one move that you don't want to have happen to you. Mm -hmm. Somebody not going to get on the spot on the Mitch Watson. I think somebody might have successfully taken out Spike out of the equation here. Knocks down the Mitch and somebody out once again by this Mitch. Hammering away on somebody out in the corner there. And the Mitch is even has the strength of Denton. Sombrero is a mezzo, a metal interior. Huge big boot there as I saw Mitch Watson pop all the way across the Spike's laid out body. Able to get the boot up. Puts an exclamation point there with that shot. And he goes for a pin and Spike up in the nick of time. He will break out before a referee can get on his knees for count for one. Spike thought he was out of the equation, looks like he's back in it. Some Mitch. Some Yato with his the black single spike on him. Pack of wolf here. Elbow shot. And, oh. and the temple takes him down. Spike up top once again. Ah, that's Swanton. And he takes his attention to Mitch! He's try the gateway shuffle once again, but this time on Mitch, Wa Mitch Waters and finds himself on the receiving end this time. As he punches, he fought with his knee to face. Could possibly be the knockout blow here, folks. Let's be counting here. And there you have it, folks. And Spike the twist and a huge win. Defeating Mitch and Sombria on it now. Spike is a number contender. For the underground championship. Here's your winner, Spike! And next episode of Assault goes into the first time ever one-on-one -on -one meeting between Spike and Planet X. And Spike was smart. I'm sure he knows all. I'm sure he knows all Planet X exploits are about now. I'm sure Spike's gonna be his toughest fight to date for sure. Next week, the next week of Assault, Spike, Planet X, the Underground Championship. Let's go backstage.
Shiloh, folks. Most of the people that Von Free just mentioned this now, he's actually, he's actually beaten Shiloh past. So Von Free could be a huge, a, good, a great candidate to be the victor in the Scrub Experiment live Sunday, February 7th from Pittsburgh, PA. Remember, folks, the one man that survives all 14 is combat in the Scrub Experiment. We can all that number contender for the Eagle Tip to face the world champion, whoever that may be, in the main event at Pandemonium 10 in the biggest Pandemonium of all time. Coming down the aisle from Beaverton, Oregon, he is the owner of the UWA. He is Nick Willis, the Enforcer. This could indeed be the biggest square of the spare yet. But before that, folks, how like we said, that's just the world cross having more victorious at him to fame. It is now time to finally re retire the, the women's Tekken championship all because running is even and tan have been so, so successful in their Tekken division. They've between all teams of the UWA and it has and been dominating so no force to retire the belt. It's official on these three, and as of now, the women's tag team champions are no longer and no more. And I guess that spells the end of the World Cross Tag Team. They go to singles career. And then and Tanner are going to be celebrating the crowd. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait a minute. Vicky James and Coco. What the hell are they doing out here for? Okay, let's take it to Antenna Renee Diva here. It's like saying that they haven't beat the. Team Coco Mickey James yet. God, let's make a quick work of the World's Hoss tag team. Make a quick work of the best tag team in the eBay history. God, what's gonna happen? I mean, we saw the title tag team belts, but they just but they just challenged the World's Hoss tag team for the World's Tag Team titles. God, what does Regina think of this? What does the Enforcer think of this? God, what a strange twist of events here tonight, folks. And Coco Mickey James here coming out on the World's Hot Tag Team. Look at this. Body sprawl all over the place. Well, folks, like I said, next month, our first CPV of 2010 and first CPV of, the new of the new decade, Square of Despair, where the past of Pandemonium will begin, where the, the double X Square of Despair match and the Square of Despair match itself will take place. Well, one man or one woman will have to overcome 14 of those great obstacles in a huge battle royal. And the person that survives with a fast track to immortality to go on to be the contender at Pandemonium. And of course, Square Square is of course the one most unique and eagerly anticipated CPVs of the entire year. Folks, I can't wait. We already know. I mean, we know that the Crown Greats are also going to be challenging the Suicidals you know, for the Tag Team Championships. And we know that this match here it will be for the number of contendership match for the UWA title. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle, being accompanied by Perfect Cell. From Japan, he is the legendary Super Saiyan, Broly! Next, folks, is Broly. And 
Francis Claire in, in the main event, and then whoever wins becomes the number contender to face Rampage for the UW title at Square of Despair. Well, folks, of course, if you all understand how the Francis Claire definitely wants to get a rematch, because he said, he said earlier trying to show Scarf he'll do anything he'll do where he has to, where he has to do to get another shot at that UW title, which he once held. And of course, at Clinton, we saw Broly and Cell the fight rampage after we saw the monster of destruction take up a few UW fans, and those fans are still are yet injured. And we're taken to a hospital if we can update on those three fans. But we know Rampage was the fourth fan in attendance who did also turn out to be the newest acquisition of UWA. And of course, Rampage took out both Broly and Cell, but at the end of all the destruction, Broly and, Fran and the Rampage had a, a unique stare down. To say the least. 